I thought I'd found Corky. I really, really thought I'd found Corky. This hyena's got such a nasty injury on his shoulder blade. I'm sorry to have rushed you away. Um, oh, sorry. It is Corky. It's her. Yes, Tom, make your way in. Oh, my goodness. Look, look, look. It's her. This is amazing. She's back. She's fine. She's here. She's got a really nasty shoulder injury, but otherwise she's not even limping. Hyenas are phenomenal. Look, it's her. It's her, it's her. I'm so excited. Um, this is just fantastic. Okay. She's not even limping. Corky, you had us all terrified and she's not even limping. Quick, let's go around. Now, send through your one word to describe this on hashtag Safari Live on Twitter. Mine's relief. Let's go watch her call the cub out. It is her. I can't, we drove along the road. How beautiful was that timing? And I saw this hyena with a shoulder injury and then Craig said no, he thought it was her. And I said I didn't think it was. She's a bit thinner than she was, but otherwise I am so, so excited. Well done, girl. Now fetch your baby. Sorry, girl, sorry. She's limping. Yes, she's okay. She's okay. I'm gonna stop here. Look, this is, hyenas are just absolutely Unbelievable. Lorena, your one word is goosebumps. Shame. She's still alert. She's still nervous. Oh, that looks horrible on her shoulder. She's calling. What's going on? It's okay, girl. Let's just give her a moment. She's calling. She's definitely lost a little bit of weight. She doesn't even have a scratch across her face where he hit her with his paw. Hey girl, you are a sight for sore eyes. You really, really are. He'd probably been back here every night since, we just didn't realize. She definitely lost some weight though. She's making that low moan. None of your business, your one, look, 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 look. Your one word is strong. Is there anything stronger than the maternal instinct out here? Not many things. I'm not crying, you're crying. Hi. Hello, Wobbles. Is your mommy back? Hmm. <laughs> well, there's some things that we don't even need to put words to. Oh, that's okay. That is really, really sore, but it's okay. There's no permanent damage there. There's pretty's cubs coming out. Here we go, there's one of pretty's cubs. With its wrinkly pruny skin on the top of its head. Oh, corks. Oh, phew. I'm happy now. I can go to bed content. You brave girl. Penny, your one word was crying. Oh, shame. It's it's all, but that's nothing to a hyena. She'll be fine. She does look a little bit the worse for the wear. She looks a bit thin. She obviously has been lying low and licking her wounds. And now it's time to come back to the little one who is very hungry. Come on, Mum. <laughs> I can't believe they're still at the same den. <laughs> He's so hungry, it's trying to suckle upside down. Its little tail, every sign of dominance in its body language. Oh, 
Oh, we think of, I always think of high-ranked hyena cubs as the perfect metaphor for privilege. And this would have been the first real shock he's had in his little life. Our group, you want to know if she will still have milk? Yes, it looks like she does. Um, it might not be as rich as it normally would be, but hyenas do produce very, very rich milk. So I'm pretty sure she still has a little bit. And if not, she'll go out and search for a meal tonight. Oh, you're hungry by any chance. <laughs> Shaman, this little one actually looks like it's struggling to get some milk out. But that might just be it's taking a while to drop. Nothing's broken. Just a deep wound, that's all. And probably some very stiff muscles and some very sore tendons. Oh, look at it. Just like a puppy or a kitten pressing up against mum to stimulate the milk production. Isn't this just what we've been waiting for? This is the best possible way that our safari lives could have finished off this afternoon. It really is. Finally. How long has it been? It feels like forever since we last saw her. I think it's only been three days. Okay, reunion's over now. They're probably going to sleep and have a little bit of a, a nap and a recovery period. And she's not showing the side of the injury, but can do. is so special. <laughs> I think everyone around the world is breathing a massive sigh of relief. Corky, I don't think you realize just how many people you had worried, concerned for your safety. Everyone's been rooting for you. Now, it doesn't matter whether Corky's a hyena or a lion or a leopard. It's a story that is shared by all animals out here. It is a very, very tough world. Speaking of which, let's head across to Brent so he can finish chatting to you about what he was talking about before. Now Sebastian is looking at me. Corky and Jamie and Cub, I cannot think of a better combination of different factors. So Jamie spent a lot of time watching this little cub wander around, but not much time with Corky. So this has come as a vast relief. Her strength and courage in the face of that lion launching itself in her direction. Look, I think that we shouldn't we shouldn't go completely crazy. She did run into a log, which is why she couldn't get away, but she really stood her ground and goes to show the strength of a maternal instinct in a situation where she she knew her cubs were going to race for safety and she just had to get herself out of the way once she distracted the lion long enough for the cubs to get away. She's here, she's fine. She's going to be absolutely fine. She could use a good meal, but otherwise she's absolutely fine. Phew, what a relief. Sometimes timing just works out so incredibly well. She arrived as we did and looked at us as if to say, yes, it's me. Were you worried? Well, we were, Corky. We were a little bit worried. So there we go. Matriarch of Juma Clan. 
survived the onslaught of a lion attack and has returned to feed the little bald-faced cub. And it could not look more content if it tried. And thus ends our 22nd episode of Safari Lives. I hope you have all had an amazing time. Thank you for joining us. You're the most important part of this entire story. It just wouldn't be the same without you. We'll see you again for our normal safari tomorrow morning or next week for Safari Lives.